Hello YouTube, it's 8.30 in the morning. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Port Lando, a small landlocked fishing village here in Colombia. I am dripping with sweat. It is hot as balls out, but I wanna show you a little bit about what this place is like. Here's a look out the window. Take a look on the map, this is where I was, and this is where we're going today. Today I'm trying out my new Alpine Stars Bogota Dry Star Jacket. It just got delivered to Port Lando this morning by FedEx. Who knew FedEx delivered to Port Lando? I didn't, I had no idea. Anyway, I'm ready to hop on Gwyneth and ride her hard. Uh, let's hit the road, let's, let's be done with this joke. Did you miss me? I uh, missed a week of videos last week because I was helping run a conference down at the Oregon Convention Center. If you've never been to the Oregon Convention Center, it's large. That's all I can really say about it. Mm -hmm. While I was there, I had about three to four seconds of free time, so I started sort of Googling around for a new jacket because I uh, ordered myself the Tech Air 5 airbag vest from Alpine Stars. And that's going to be here tomorrow. And I wanted a new jacket that um, I knew was going to fit exactly correctly and was, you know, compatible with this whole thing that's going to blow up and turn me into a balloon. So I started looking around. You might say to yourself, Bug, I, I know no one says that, but uh, you might say, Bug, do you really need an adventure jacket to go to the store? My answer is no, I don't. But I do more than just go to the store, you know. Do I? Y yeah. So, you know, sometimes I go on adventures. I mean, I go camping. I, I, I take trips. I go to the coast. I got a motorcycle now, and uh, I went to the coast the other day. I went five and a half hours there and back. And let me tell you, that was a lot of riding. And I was wearing my black jacket. I ended up coming home in the dark, and... Uh, I think that's when it really dawned on me, you know what, you need something a little bit more appropriate for this world. And so uh, I started looking around for something a little brighter, a little um, safer, and um, something that, like I said, that's going to fit my Tech Air 5. So I came up with this. This is the Alpine Stars Bogota Pro Dry Star Jacket. You can look up the price because I know things change, but you know, it's more than a bread basket and less than skin grafts. That's really all you need to know. Go buy one. It's CE class AA rated, and that's pretty much as high as you can get until you get into like a full leather tracksuit. And dear God, believe me in heaven, let me tell you, the last thing you want to see me in is a full leather suit, because that no one, no one wants to see that. Ladybug doesn't even want to see that. It's got the CE level whatever padding in the elbows and in the shoulders. It's got these vents I'll show you in a minute. It's got one here, one here, one on the back. It's got zippers on the sleeve that you can zip down to get more air. It's basically like you're naked, but you're still like CEAA rated or something. I don't know how they do it. So while I don't see this as an everyday jacket, I definitely see it as a most days jacket. I mean, if I'm running out to the store, I'm probably not gonna go in looking at like itchy boots, you know? Maybe I will, who cares? If you think I care what people think of the way I look, then you didn't know me in high school. Believe me when I tell you. So I don't care. I'll probably go to the store wearing this thing when I want to, but most of the times I'll probably just throw on my other black jacket if I'm not wearing the airbag system. As much as I think I'm going to love the airbag system, I, I don't see wearing it on every ride. I see wearing it on most rides, especially if I'm on my motorcycle and especially if I'm going some distance. I know the old adage that most accidents happen at your front door or whatever they, whatever they say, I, I don't remember. Something like that. Oh God, the Popo is here. Oh, they're always here because it's a river patrol station, so it makes sense. Where else would they be? I don't know. All right, so I prepared some notes to tell you about the, the jacket. I didn't prepare shit. I downloaded the thing from the internet. So it's got the lightweight 600D 
main shell. I have no idea what that means. It's got a reinforced 2L450D hard outer shell. Didn't I just say it? I, I have no idea. It's got a, okay, who cares about this shit? It's got, it's basically three jackets in one, right? It's got the outer layer, which is awesome. And I look, you know, like I'm ready to go to Africa and drive my motorcycle, which I'm not, because whatever. It's got a thermal liner, which is really nice. Can you see it? And on top of all of this, it's waterproof. Now, it's not waterproof, I don't think, like at all, uh, the jacket, but it comes with this, it comes with a rain jacket that you can wear uh, either inside snapped in to the thermal liner or on the outside. You wanna see it? You wanna know where it is? Bam! It's right there, baby. It's my back. It's my back pocket. Let me show you how easy it is to get this out of the fucking pocket. God damn it all in hell. Oh, motherfucker. Hold on. I got this. This isn't, this isn't a problem. There. <laughs> See, I told you it was easy. Dear God. So it comes with this. This is, I believe, the dry star portion of the jacket and it goes on just like this you can put it on over your jacket and it's got the the green can't see it you zip it up now you got waterproof waterproof on the outside party in the back i don't know but it's not raining right now so and i'm like 600 degrees because get the thermal liner in and it's 62 62 degrees and I get the thermal liner in oh boy the things I do for this channel I tell you okay all right back to the notes yada 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 the vents let me show you the vents this is cool it's got one on each side it's got this thing that you can do undo right can you see that that's pretty cool right you can do undo that and then you can on each side can zip these things down if you're nursing um these come in really handy too but anyway yeah they clip right down they tuck in or they they can tack up to here if you really want to but they both tuck in i'm gonna just do this even though we're in the thermal layer oh dear god tuck them in now you got vents here you got vents here and <laughs> don't ask me how i would do this with the jacket on because it's impossible but there is a vent on the back that's almost the whole back. Check that thing out. You unzip that thing, you get these things going. Uh, there's no stopping you. That's all I'm saying. It says it has pre-curved sleeves. I agree. It has pre-curved sleeves and they're very comfortable. It's got all kinds of zippers and the zippers are really nice. It seems. I don't know. Zippers. YWW or something. Zippers. They're zippers. See that car right there? Don't ever, don't ever get in front of that car. There's a reason it looks like that. Hey, I am trying to film a bug video here. Can you divert? Is that a Boeing? It'll probably divert by itself. Well, timely humor. Current events, baby. So the collar snaps here, but then if you want some ventilation, it opens up and it snaps over here, which is difficult, if not impossible to do with one hand, but trust me, it's a thing. It's cool, I like it. Whatever. The cuffs, big enough, small enough, Velcro. If you like Velcro and you like cuffs, it's got you covered. It's got pockets for optional chest and back padding, but I'm not gonna do that because like I said, I've got the Tech Air 5 coming and that's gonna cover me, baby. That's gonna cover me. That's about all I wanna tell you on the technical side. On the non-technical side, on the purely subjective side of things, it feels awesome. It weighs about 42 pounds, give or take. That's uh, 600 kilometers for uh, my folks in, in Europe. It's heavy, but you don't really feel it. It's almost like a like a weighted blanket in a little way. It's, it's comforting, like it, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's actually really nice. It feels like, it just feels quality, if I'm being honest. It's, it's Alpine Stars. I have a thing for Alpine Stars lately, I don't know why. Anyway, speaking of which, let's put these gloves on and get the hell out of here because uh, I'm starting to overheat. Jacket works. If its intention is to give me heat stroke, then it works great. Let's go. 
Let's go. Listen, if anyone gives me shit for wearing this jacket, at least I'm not wearing those pants. That's all I'm saying. I think he heard me. Oh God, he's looking at me. Off we go. Look at these dinners. Oh, have that one tonight. Have the one in the back for tomorrow night. Oh, you tasty bastards. Sorry, Peter. This one over here is saying, I don't know, what the f do you want from me? I'm just poop. Oh God, that was a massive one too. The poop, not the goose. Although the goose was pretty massive too. All right, I get it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be back after I get my shit together. Come on, people. My fans are waiting. No, I left my fans on at the house. I don't want to waste electricity is what I'm saying. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Bug, you're known for your well-researched, in-depth, and knowledgeable product reviews. Tell me about the alternatives to the Alpine Stars Bogota Pro Dry Star Jacket. Yeah, no, I'll get right on that. I did look a bunch at other jackets. I looked at a lot of the Alpine Stars jackets. I almost bought a leather one. I really still want it, but I really can't imagine being out in public as a 27 year old wearing that jacket. It just, it feels a little too sporty for a scooter, definitely. And probably a little too sporty for a classic retro motorcycle like my Triumph Bonneville T120 in black. This jacket, I think, matches very nicely with my 2023 Vespa GTS Super Sport in, um, how do you say, Bianco in Agente. Just as a side note, remember I did that video talking about the wind and the noise from this windscreen or fly screen or whatever the f it's called? Like I said earlier, I did a trip to the coast on my motorcycle over the weekend. It was like two and a half hours or something each way. I don't, I don't remember. It was a lot. That motorcycle has no windscreen at all. It has no wind protection. And I don't remember once thinking, wow, it's awful windy. I really need to fix this. Right now, I feel like I'm in fucking Florida during hurricane, what the fuck? It's so loud. How do I fix this? If you know how to fix this outside of, I don't know, something, hit me up in the comments. I started riding the motorcycle with earplugs every once in a while, and that is really cool. I gotta say, I, I think I talked about that before. I talked about everything before. I have nothing new to say. I would, I, I'm more than happy to do that on the scooter. My point is, this wind noise is really hard to get out of the video in post-production. It's awful. I waste so much time altering audio things, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You probably knew that by now. Oh yeah, I'm taking the twisties, baby. I am dragging a knee. I'm dragging a knee. No, I'm not dragging a knee. Shit, is the new jacket that's making all this noise? Uh oh. Did I just find the fatal flaw in this jacket? It's noisy as balls. Is that? Is that the? Is that the? Is that the fatal flaw? Don't buy this jacket. It's too noisy. That's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna write a review. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, don't buy this jacket. It's too noisy. I'm gonna. And people are gonna be like, fucking what? It's the jacket's noisy. Just tell it to shut up. What? Your jacket makes noise? I don't understand. Four stars. Four stars, I really like it, but Bug says it's noisy. I don't know. I don't know how to think. Well, we're stopped here in traffic. This is Food Villa. If you've never been to Food Villa, let me tell you what you're missing. Okay, that part of the video is over. See if this guy waved to me. Hey, hey, what's up? Nice guy. I met him before at uh, Sturgis. No, I didn't. <gasps> All right, I just had the best idea in the world. Okay, I'm starting a GoFundMe right now, as soon as I get home. And we're gonna fund me going on my Vespa GTS in Bianco and Bianco Nicente to Sturgis and spending a week or however long Sturgis is in Sturgis getting it on with all of the Harley bros on their, on their, well, Harleys, I guess, right? I need to raise, let's see, probably 3,000 for travel expenses, 10 grand for bail, there's therapy, um, 
There's the shower that I need to take afterwards. There's groceries. There's my pride. How much does my pride cost? It's probably free. Oh, there's a bus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that. All right. Anyway, to summarize this meandering festival of bullshit. I've had this jacket for a couple of days now. I've put a few miles on it. I freaking love it. It is comfy. It's bright enough so that I feel like the brightness is making a difference, but it's not so bright that I feel like a party balloon or a beach ball or I don't know, something that's bright and stupid. I hate it. What? The safety ratings on this jacket are sweet and that's, you know, like I've said before, becoming a bigger deal in my life. I would like to be safe. I don't know. Can, who knows? It accommodates the Tech Gear 5 airbag system, which is coming tomorrow. And I will be making a very long, completely boring, meandering again video about that. At some point, you can be sure. Spend $800 on the damn thing. I better get a fucking video out of it, at least. I might even crash the scooter just to get my money's worth. I don't know. Did you watch that? Let me know in the comments if you'd watch me purposely crash the Vespa into a Dunkin' Donuts. And there's no Dunkin' Donuts here. Okay. I really, I need a better producer. That's what I need. Anyway, let me know in the comments if I should crash the Vespa. Is it worth the money? Based on all the other jackets that I looked at, this seems either on par or slightly less expensive than I would have expected. Your mileage may vary. There's jackets that go for $1,200, $1,500. There's pieces of crap that look like this that go for $150. That's not gonna, that's not gonna save you in a crash. That's not gonna, the only thing that's gonna save you is a couple hundred dollars. I trust Alpine Stars because now I have their boots. I have two of their jackets. I have their gloves. What else, anything else? I don't know, but so far they have not let me down. So I'm sticking with it. You know, I have climb riding pants and while the pants themselves are okay. Yeah. How you doing customer service? That's all I'm saying. Great jacket, comfortable, safe, good company behind it. Visible, all kinds of venting, three ways to wear it. Raincoat, thermal liner without any of that stuff. So I guess this one is three ways because you could, well, I don't know math. You can, you can figure out all the permutations of how you can wear this jacket. I don't have time for that shit. I'm gonna go home and order dinner. You know, ladybugs out of town. I'm a bachelor bug, bachelor bug people. Oh God, all right. Maybe pay attention to what you're doing. So final verdict, does it get the bug splat of approval? <sighs> yeah, it sure does. I like it a lot. Well, I'll let you know after a few months how it's holding up and all that stuff. Um, but for now I say it's, it's a buy. If you enjoyed this video, I don't know what to tell you, man. Seriously, go, go find a hobby. Watch one of these videos. 